The US share market jumped 2.5% on Friday, taking its weekly gain to 4%. And it was the second consecutive weekly gain. And that led to solid rises in Asia today and a 1.2% rise on the ASX in Australia, led by banks and CSL, while miners slipped back. The US market has had a stronger rally than the Australian market in October. But for the year so far, the ASX All Ordinaries is down 10% versus 20% for the American S&P 500. On commodity markets, iron ore fell more than 4%, while precious metals and oil also fell. The Australian dollar was steady ahead of tomorrow's Melbourne Cup rate hike. And the favour for that particular race is 0.25%, with half a percent an outside chance. Today's data were retail sales in September, a rise of 0.6%, driven by strong clothes shopping and eating out and takeaway. But it probably won't change the Reserve Bank's mind, whatever their mind might be at. Inflation is on everyone's mind around the world at the moment. This is a chart of the appearance of the word inflation in books up to 2004, and then Google searches after that. Actual world inflation is back to where it was in the early 1990s, but interest in inflation, as measured by books and Google searches, is back to the level last seen in 1980. And finally, a chart of most streamed albums on Spotify. And 10 days after it was released, Taylor Swift's Midnight has blown the rest out of the water, becoming the most streamed album of all time. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.